Golf Cart Garage gets a ton of calls and emails just like this one. Jason wrote in to ask, Hi Dave, how do I read my golf cart charger? So it's time to ask Dave right now on GCG TV. What well, I think any machine is a smoke machine if you operate it wrong enough. Hi everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us today in the golf cart garage as we take a look at reading a golf cart battery charger. We get frequent calls and emails asking about how to figure out or read the amperage gauge or indicator lights on chargers. And while there are a wide variety of chargers available on the market today with different features and capabilities, when it comes to reading the indicators while charging, there are basically only two types. Older style chargers generally have a gauge measuring amperage, and newer style chargers usually have LED indicator lights of some kind for information. Good news is, it's easier than reading people. Like, you're not going to ask it what's wrong and it says, nothing, it's fine, only for you to find out six months later that it's angry you didn't put the seat down. When using a charger with an analog gauge on the front, your display is measuring amperage, which is essentially just the amount of force or intensity your charger is using to send the voltage to the batteries. Think of it like pouring a glass of water. You slow down the pour as you begin to reach full, and chargers do the same thing. When first connected, a charger like this one should start at a high amperage and gradually decline as the charge completes eventually reaching zero and shutting off. If you're using a more modern style charger like this one, you'll find LED indicator lights to show that charging is in progress. Depending on the make and model of charger, they may have differing amounts of lights indicating different information, but it's most common to have a light to indicate that AC power is present, meaning it's plugged into the wall, along with lights to show that charging is in progress, charging is finished, or that there is a fault code. Deciphering these lights can sometimes require consulting your charger owner's manual to explain their operation or determine which fault may be indicated. But under normal operation, most will flash or blink during charging and present a solid green light when finished. If you want the easiest charger to read, the Summit 2 model I have here gives a simple, at-a-glance LED reading on the charger body and also has a free app for your phone or tablet that provides a dashboard measuring your amperage, voltage, the remaining charge time, and more right there on your screen. This technology can also be really helpful in teaching the kids or grandkids, and even certain parents, about charging and cart responsibility. We'd love to tell you all about it. But that's another episode for another day. So stop by golfcartgarage.com or give us a call at 1-800-401-2934 so we can help show you around the garage. You can also send your questions by email to askdave at golfcartgarage.com. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more episodes. Thanks for watching GCGTV.